Hello there. Welcome to the Egg and Gear Show. I'd like to start off by apologising. For the last 10 years, I haven't shown you this air gun and I've been completely remiss in my actions. I've even owned one of these myself in those last 10 years and never showed you this air gun. So starting now, I need to put that right. And here it is. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. It's the Hatsan 8044. It's big, it's butch, and it's a forgotten air rifle. And I need to start correcting that right now. <laughs> oh, there we are. Right, so what have we got here? The Hatsan 804410. I'm guessing that it means 10 because it's got a 10 shot magazine in it. But let me just give you a rundown on some of the features of the rifle as I sit here. First of all, the stock is plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. I'm not going to tell you that it's a ballistic compound or it's a coated soft touch thingamajig. No, it's a plastic stock. But that plastic stock does have an adjustable cheek piece just there. And you also have a adjustable rubberized shoulder pad, which goes up and down just there as well. There's a bit of stippling, nice thumb hole, and you can put your thumb through and put your thumb up, kind of, if you can. You've also got a pick rail, which is built into the front, which you can put your bipod on. Now, let's be quite clear. This bipod, the moderator, and the scope is not included. I've had to add those myself. Trigger is gold, not so sure about that, but it is adjustable. Now, my instruction manual says that that could be what's called like a quattro trigger. Not too sure if it is, but I can definitely see some uh, adjustment in there. But when mine came out of the box, it was actually set quite nicely and it seemed fine to me. Something else to auto notice on the stock, because I missed it, me miss things, who would say, is you've got some studs already on board. Now, I wouldn't use these to mount a bipod or anything like that. They're clearly just for a sling, um, but to have those on board is a nice touch. Let's start on the action of the rifle. Now, the barrel is a Hatsan barrel. I don't think there's anything special about it. It's just a, a standard Hatsan barrel. On the end, you've got a half inch UNF, which means you can put a silencer on there and you're probably going to need to. You've got your air cylinder, which is 180cc. Now, they're saying in the manual, filter 190, max 200. So that means it's not gonna drain your air tank really quickly. But you do get around 70 usable shots, sub 12 foot pound into two, from that 180cc air cylinder. And on the front, you've got a nice clear pressure gauge so you can see when you're in the green and when you're not. Look, we all make mistakes and I apologize. I haven't shown you this rifle up until now, but there are loads of other people that make much bigger mistakes than that out there. And here's my top three favorite apologies of all time. Starting at number three, what happens if you're a famous smuggler? I am truly sorry that Pistol and Boo were not declared. Declare everything when you enter Australia. And at number two, it's everyone's favorite politician. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Miss Lewinsky that was not appropriate. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigity her geflavity with my googus. In fact, it was wrong. And at number one, what happens if someone says you can't play computer games no more? <sighs> what I suggest to that young man is you get off your ass and get out there in the real world and shoot some proper guns. 
The rifle is a side lever action. Now, you don't normally get that on a, uh, what I would regard as a budget or starter air rifle. They're normally a, a bolt at the back or something like that. So nice side lever, works very well. You've also got the rotary 10 shot magazine in there. And it's really quite simple. If you want to uh, take the mag out, you simply pull the brass retaining pin back and up. Just keep your finger on the mag, drop the bolt back and pop the magazine out. And then you're simply gonna stick your 10 pellets in there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop that back in. You can drop your retaining bolt forward. I find that actually if I just push that in a little, it helps to seek that bolt and then you can push that forward. And, and there you go. It's incredibly simple and the gun is now uh, charged. And if you had pellets in the magazine, it would be ready to go. I do have one slight annoyance with the gun and that's this auto safety at the back here. Now, I like auto safeties. I think they're great. I think they are important, but this auto safety is on every single shot. So when you're shooting groups, when you're shooting targets, it constantly pings out. It's kind of frustrating. And you will see that when I'm shooting a little bit later. You cock the gun, you pop the thing in. So there you go. But that's, that's how it is. On top of the gun, you've got a dovetail rail and Picatinny rail. You don't normally get that. I think it makes the gun look butt ugly, but that's just my opinion. You have got the option should you wish to add either a pick mounting system or a dovetail rail mounting system. And there's plenty of space on there for when you want to uh, put your scope on top. Out in the field, in this sub 12 foot pound format, I would suggest that this 2-2 Hatsan is ideal as a pest control rifle out to 25, max 30 yards. That's it really, it's about five kilos with the scope, the bipod and the moderator on. There is a bit of weight to it, and if you didn't have a sling on it, which I would advise you put on if you're going walking around in the field, it's gonna get heavy really quickly. But it is a really sturdy rifle, and it's been out for 10 years plus. So if anything's gonna have gone wrong, it's gone wrong, and Hatsan's put it right. So if you are actually looking for something which is just purely ready to go out of the box, without any fuss or faffing about or fears that it's the first model or the second model or you want to, then this is probably a good thing to have a look at. But I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna start shooting it and show you what it's like for accuracy. So here is my accuracy testing, five shots, all taken at around 160 bar charge. I'll explain that in a moment. And I'm trying five popular pellets. JSB Exacts, JSB Hades, H&M Barracudas, Bisleys, and Superdomes. Now this is a sub 12 22 rifle, so I am shooting at 20 yards, and the footage is captured on my Galaxy S9 Plus using the side shot mount. And the results? Well, I cannot split the JSB 15.89s and the Hades, so we'll try both of those out at 30 yards. Again, I'd like to point out that this is a windless day, almost indoor-like conditions, but it's still blinking cold though. 30 yard results then, the group does open up, but the best I got was with the Hades. Five, just over half an inch. Me likey likey. Yes, you can clink at 50 yards. Targets will drop. Do expect some windage though, and the odd miss. But things will tip <laughs> over. Oh, just right. The Hatsan isn't regulated, it uses a high pressure air system. So basically when you pull that trigger, the hammer flies forward and it hits the top of the cylinder, which has got a little high pressure valve in it. Squirt of air comes out, pellet goes off down range. Now a regulator regulates that squirt of air, but this doesn't have one of those in it. But what you can do is you can use a chronograph to track your feet per second 
which will help with your accuracy. So what I find with the chronograph is that always at around shot 27, 28, we go from above 570 feet per second to just below 570 feet per second. And what happens is, is that you get your first sort of, you know, 27, 28 shots, all in the middle there, lovely, nice placement, good and accurate. And then as it comes down in pressure in the cylinder, your feet per second comes down, which you're tracking with your chronograph. And as it comes down, it gradually works its way down the paper. And when you get to shot, I think probably sort of, you know, 60 or something like that, the drop becomes way more apparent. Use a chronograph, shoot an entire shot string to learn your gun, and then learn where the sweet spot is in that charge. And you're going to have yourself a nice, accurate little hat sun. And when you do find those 10 sweet shots on an utterly windless day like today, you can group at 50 yards. Here are the numbers then. I suggest 80 shots from one 200 bar fill and 60 of those are the usable ones. And the first 26 are above 11 foot pounds. That's excellent. And the flattest shot string I got was from around shot 15 to 25 or around 160 bar on the gauge. Now let's be clear, most of you aren't going to notice any difference at all in the first 50 or 60 shots. No, you're not. I'm trying to put pellet on pellet because I'm pandering to the group out there that says nothing is as good as its viral. <gasps> yes, there we go, I've said it out loud. And you also need to be aware that the gauge on front of here should be used as a guide. There might be a slight variation between rifles. It ain't gonna give you Stephen Hawking accuracy. No, 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 no. One more top tip, keep your barrel clean because a clean barrel on a Hatsan AT44 will help to improve your accuracy. If you love things like this, then you're going to love airgun101.com. Go and take a look. It's got all the latest videos from some of the biggest creators out there in the world talking about things like this. It's got some of the latest hunting videos, including bits on there that never make it to YouTube. Plus, it's got all the links for things that you could ever want airgun-wise. So go take a look, airgun101.com. So what are my final thoughts on the Hatsan AT4410? Well, do you know what? It brings back a lot of memories from 10 years ago. These things are cracking rifles for what you pay for. It really is gonna do the job for you out to 25, 30 yards. You're gonna knock everything over with ease. Yep, it's not regulated, I get that, but it's gonna teach you a lot of how to control that air within that system. And air gunning is all about learning. So if you're getting into air guns for the first time, this is definitely a consideration. And I apologize for not showing it to you before. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. So, what are my final thoughts on the Hatsan AT4410? Well, the first thing I need to do is apologize for my actions before. I haven't shown you this rifle up until now, and I've made an extreme error in my ways. I know that if these were to ever go into Australia, you would have to declare them at the border. And also, for not showing you this, I have probably upset my wife. And I would also much prefer to be shooting one of these than sitting on my ass on the sofa playing computer games. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with my bargain purchase. And I think you will be too. I've let my, I've let my country down. I've let my wife down. I didn't have adult relations with that gun. I didn't. I know I've been banned. I'll never see the community again.